Hey everyone, kind of got a cool little video for you today. This is my collection so far of new old stock parts for my Honda that I've been able to buy thanks to uh, the GoFundMe page that um, one of the viewers, David, uh, set up. So massive thank you to David for setting that up. And massive thank you to every single one of you who donated and all of my friends and family who did locally as well. Honestly, managed to turn a very, very horrible incident into an in incredibly um, honor honored feeling uh, and, and humbling feeling. And yeah, in overwhelming with support. Like I don't even have the words, you know. I woke up that morning after two hours of sleep, bawled my eyes out after I had seen the bike for the first time. And that was the video that was on my channel. Since deleted it, just felt it was a little bit um, inappropriate and, and also I wasn't very proud of the video you know it was very embarrassing to have to have cried on a video but it was after like two hours of uh, Freya and I sleeping because um, we were up all night till six in the morning wandering around in the dark trying to find this bike so it was horrible anyway let's move on to something more positive let me show you the cool stuff that I've managed to find so as you can see, there's quite a lot of cool stuff. So I'm going to flick through some of the cool little easy bits that burnt pretty much immediately. You can assume that most of the plastic and rubber parts burnt. So we've got replacement indicator caps, replacement leg shield covers. Massive thank you to Brandon for the awesome replacement um, grips. They are really, really, really cool. New old stock. Everything here you see is new old stock. We've got things like this. This is for the air box. Uh, it's a chrome piece of metal that pretty much just got obliterated by the seawater and all of this stuff is actually fairly um, inexpensive. I, I would say this what you're looking at here is probably no more than about 200 pounds worth of, of parts so the slightly bigger things I will explain in just a minute but let's keep going. We've got um, replacement brake lever. This end rubber piece got absolutely burnt and a new one of these was only like three or four pounds couple of small plastic plugs for the forks where you can get a different sort of like pannier rack if you want. Um, a replacement throttle that got absolutely destroyed in the uh, in the, the seawater as well. I tried polishing it up, but it just doesn't really look that great. And I think that was only three or four quid. This was very cheap as well. Got this from Sendico actually quite a long time ago. Uh, this was a gear shifter for your um, for the engine. This right here, very cool, but unfortunately not the right color. So this is slightly the wrong part. Uh, it's the right piece, it's just the wrong color, but it is new old stock. So I picked it up for cheap. I think I got this from eBay um, by a company called Shire Bikes, if you wanna check them out, if you're looking for Honda spares. Um, I can't link you to Sendico stuff because that's just individual sellers, but one person I got a lot of this stuff from is called Shire Bikes, um, maybe.co.uk. So go and check them out. I'll leave a link in their description, not sponsored. Doesn't even know I'm making this video. Um, this is a small piece for the leg shields. Um, this right here is, what is this actually? Um, Oh, this is a seat catch for the uh, for the seat, so that's quite cool. Really nice old Honda box, absolutely beautiful. Really, really cool. Um, some stickers actually, which is really nice. A replacement headlight. Um, we've got an oil uh thing there, an oil stick. Um, we've also got another part of the um throttle as well. Seriously awesome. Over here as well, a few more little bits. These mirrors, I think I got these from Sendico a while ago um, for my other brown bike. So maybe we'll use them on this one uh, as they're brand new. Um, but the other mirrors were actually not too bad. This is a small spring. All these sorts of things just got obliterated, as you can imagine. This is a small little spring as well for the air filter. A lovely, a lovely little um, old Honda part there. And then this, this is something very special. I never thought I'd be able to find one of these, but this is actually a tail light, a new tail light. For some reason, after they'd set the bike on fire, or maybe before, don't know the timeline, but they kicked the tail light, bent the back of the frame and smashed the tail light. Um, obviously all the chrome got destroyed in the sea, but this whole unit comes with everything that, you know, that got destroyed by these people. So really, really cool. And again, this right here is new old stock Honda. Um, I did manage to find a brown mudguard, as you can see here, but it's the wrong brown. So not quite sure. I thought this was an official part, but maybe it's not. You can just see there, it's just a completely different brown. Um, this is the burnt one from the bike. I might just have to keep this one on until I find uh, a, a slightly better one, but it will look very odd being the wrong color brown. It will just look quite aftermarket-y. 
Uh, managed to find one of these. My one got burnt, unfortunately. Only just t a tiny bit in the corner, uh, as you can see uh, there. But it's enough to not make it fit properly. Um, so there we have a replacement one. This is not new old stock. This is um, secondhand from eBay. And then also... Because it got destroyed, obviously, this is the wiring loom with all the electrics. I managed to find another one of those. And then the hardest part I found, which is unfortunately aftermarket, but I have actually found an original one, which is really cool. Um, but that one, I just need to figure out how to get it here, which you'll have to just wait and see for the main video to find out the story of all of that. This right here is a leg shield. Obviously, my leg shield got absolutely destroyed, but this is a aftermarket one. Um, but it's still better than nothing. So there we have it. That is what I've managed to find so far. Obviously, I've still got all the other bits that are um, from the bike that I've managed to polish up and whatnot. Um, we've got the bike frame that is getting sandblasted and painted soon. Um, a few more bits I'm waiting on, which will be cool for when that all arrives. There's a lot of stuff coming from Sendico. Anything chrome... I mean, everything got very badly damaged. You know, all the painted metal parts got burnt, and so they're black. All the chrome got destroyed by the seawater. All the plastic and rubber got um, melted and burnt. So it is quite literally a rebuild from scratch. There's very few things, you know, the engine, the wheels, those are all going to be obviously the same, just restored as much as physically possible. Um, the engine has actually been restored and that has been fitted into my other bike and I'm driving that around to put some miles in it so you can do another oil change and stuff. So things are going well. Things are going well. Thank you for all the support. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it so much. Um, and if you watch these videos as well, that is awesome because it means that you're supporting the channel through that too and keeping up with the with the updates. So really, really awesome stuff. I owe you all a massive thank you. Um, if you live in Jersey, I'm going to be hosting a small meet and greet with this bike. Um, I'm not sure of the details yet, but if you are living in Jersey or you want to come over to Jersey, be my guest. I'm going to be doing a meet and greet with this bike, a couple beers, some champagne or whatever, when it's all done, just to say a massive thank you to everyone. Um, Jersey United Kingdom, by the way, Channel Islands, if you want to come over, you're crazy, but be my guest. Um, there'll be a, a link uh, in the description of the final video to, to that event on Facebook. Um, but this isn't going to be for a month or two. So yeah, thank you very much. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.